If we say we have fellowship with him and yet walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. John is saying, if we say we're Christian, but we are constantly walking in darkness, that means we're walking in a way that disagrees with what God has told us about himself and his will, constantly living in rebellion, constantly living in sin, then there's no evidence that we're truly converted. But he says, but if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son cleanses us from all sin. John says, if we walk in the light, it's one of the evidences that we are converted. It's one of the fruits of conversion. Now you might be saying, well, Brother Paul, walking in the light, I mean, I, I believe in Jesus, I seem to be growing in my obedience, but I still sin. I don't walk in the light all the time. But what you need to understand is John is not talking about sinless perfection. John is talking about a style of life. That after your supposed conversion, you begin to see your life changing in a way that increasingly conforms more and more to what God has told us about himself and about his will. He's not talking about sinless perfection because the very next test is this. If we say we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we say we have no sin, then we're definitely not a Christian. The truth is not even in us. We don't even understand who God is or who we are. Verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know what this is talking about? One of the greatest evidences that you're a Christian is that you begin to see more and more sin in your life and when you do it breaks your heart leads you to repentance and leads you to confession that one of the greatest marks of truly being a child of God is that your life is marked by brokenness over sin and confession of it even though we grow as Christians and should have greater and greater victory over sin it's a long long process and we're never going to be fully free from sin until the day Christ returns Assurance is so important and there's two extremes and both of them are very, very dangerous. What you need to know is this. We're saved by faith, but if Christ has truly saved you, he who began a good work in you will finish it and will continue working and you will bear fruit.